welcome to presentation thank you so much for giving me the wonderful opportunity to say something on my selected topics uh, effective fault tolerance in cloud computing using hybrid technique and especially thanks our uh, honorable chief guest guest and teachers who are listening and presented by mustafa zurahman msc engineering great graduate and supervised professor dr mohammad abdulok this presentation outline introduction background study and problem statement motivation objective and contribution proposed algorithm for effective fault tolerance example of a binary operation if error are occurred experimental setup and result analysis comparison proposed effective fault tolerance with existing techniques conclusion and future work introduction Cloud computing is a model for enabling ubiquitous, convenient, on-demand access to a shared pool of configurable computing resources. For example, network, server, storage, application, and services. Various features are included in cloud computing, such as on-demand access, scalability, cost reduction, minimum management effort, device location, and the like. Critical applications require reliable cloud environment, such as scientific research, financial safety critical applications. Transient costs may exist, such as network connectivity, availability of services, and response errors. The single bit, multiple bits, and bus bits errors are occurred for transient error in cloud environment, such as operating types error, operation error, operation error, operation types error. Different types of communication error, such as packet corruption, packet loss. Introduction to introduction to effective fault tolerance. Fault tolerance is an effective step that enables a system to continue operating even in fault environments. To ensure fault tolerance in cloud, there are two types of available techniques: reactive fault tolerance and proactive fault tolerance. The reactive fault tolerance policies detect the fault after it is occurred, as such as checkpointing, mitigation. Retry and tax resubmission. And proactive fault tolerance prevents the fault by predicting the fire, such as software rejuvenation, load balancer, printed migration, and self etc. Background study and problem structure. Tim Aziz ETL proposed a hybrid fault tolerance model to ensure availability and reliability of cloud applications. It detects and corrects errors after the errors are occurred. The reliability depends to key stocks within deadline. E. Abdullah Fatih ETL proposed a reactive fault tolerance technique that fail tasks are re executed by the highest reliability of available virtual machine. The limitations are given below wastage of more resource, rescheduling the fail tax to available virtual machine. Um, M. Amon ETL proposed a reliable platform in cloud application using an algorithm for selecting the most suitable fault tolerance technique. In the Amir ETL proposed a hybrid fault tolerance protocol to handle both crash and malicious failure in a public or private cloud environment. MK Bukhuro ETL implement an algorithm periodically monitor the progress of jobs on virtual machine and report the stall job due to fail virtual machine to fault tolerance manager. MMR Refill ETL proposed a parallel computation hardware architecture instead of existing serial CRC in the high speed communication. Motivation. The CRC is unable, the CRC is unable to detect the bus length error, maximum degree of divisor greater than R. The probability of undetectable error of CRC is 1 minus 2 divided in R. Uh, section technique detects single bit, multiple bits error. The CRC as section detects CRC uses complex shift register and system uses binary address circuit and detect error after multiple steps and are reactive fault tolerance. Objectives. Detection and correction of the following of error in cloud computing. A single bit error, multi bit error, any length of batch bit error. Uh, time of error, operation error, operand error, operand tax error. Contribution. To implement the effective fault tolerance protocol to extend the data center broker policy, in cloud environment in the SNO operation. To develop an algorithm detects and corrects the single bit, multiple bits, and any length of bus bits error 
after only two steps. And firstly, server receive the data and once complement of it. And secondly, execute the external operation between them. The main component of cloud architecture. The cloudlet is an application which consists of many running instructions. The data center broker acts as a coordinator between the cloud server and cloud provider. The cloud components are registered and stored the information in a table of a cloud infrastructure service. A data center is a collection of virtualized host, virtual machines, processing elements, virtual networks, and virtual storage. A host consists of multiple virtual machines. The virtual machines are allocated in a host with the best fit mechanism. The processing elements execute the cloud nets. This is the proposed architecture of effective fault line. A cloud consists of multiple users, and every user submits the multiple cloud net to the data center broker. We have extended the data center broker to implement the effective fault line technique to detect any you know, uh, cloud net or results. Data center broker knows the available resource from the CS table. The specific cloudlet are submitted to a specific virtual machine of a host in data center. The specific virtual machine is selected by the virtual machine allocation policy. After completing the result, the result submit to the data center broker, data center broker detects any error on results. Accept the result if the outcome of error detection mechanism has no error, then accept the result, accept the result to client. This is the proposed process for effective fault tolerance technique. Client Client takes the input data, value its once complement, operations, and operation types. So data its once complement are categorized and saved through the channel. And secondly, server receives the packets and unpacks all, all of them. And waiting for all packets. When receive all packets, then it's not operation detect any errors on data. If error found, then recent data again from client. There are three operations, binary vector, binary vector or matrix operation. After completing the operation, the result is once complement are packetized and sent through the channel. Then client receive the packets and unpacketize the packets and result is once complement detects any error Using error detection mechanism. Accept the result if the outcome of X not ET. Otherwise, request for a recent result. This is the proposed protocol for effective fault tolerance technique. The major four components here the client, data center broker, effective fault tolerance manager, and processing. The client takes the input data, data operands, data types, and data its once complement are converted, then uh, all data are packetized, and all packets are submitted in a frame. This frame and sent to the server, uh, data center broker accept the all frames and unpackage and synchronize to data center. And if it falters manager, Error detection mechanism helps to detect any error on data. If error found, that recent data, recent data from clients. The zero version binary vector or matrix operation. After completing the operation, the result and its once complete are converted and all data are packetized and multiple packets are submitted in frame. Systems are submitted to data center broker and broker, broker, data center broker, its uh, effective fault tolerance manager helps to take the any error on result at response complement. 
if client accept the result, the X not outcome is zero. Otherwise, resending the execution operation again. This is the proper sequence diagram of each the photo is taking. There are in numbers of data ones complement and operation types and operands, all data packetized and sent to the data center broker. And as sent the data center broker and fault analysis manager detects any error. At this uh, detects uh, always detects any errors from here. If find any errors, then uh, recent data from the client. Uh, up, there are three operations binary vector or matrix operation. After completing the result, it's once complement. And if error detection manager helps to detect any error and result, it wants complete. The error detection mechanism detects any error and try to find uh, find any errors on data and it's, it's uh, once complete. If find any error, then re-execute re result and uh, resend data again to the uh, broker. Uh, broker sent the result to the Client accept the result. This is the example of a binary operation if zero is occurred. This is the value 1, 12, and value 2, 8. And value 1, it's once complement, and value 2, it's once complement. The server accepts the uh, value 1 and value 2, then XNOR operation value 1 and uh, it's once complement. We can observe here, we can observe here, uh, value V3 position. Of one's complement has since zero to one, and similarly in here, uh, b, uh, b, b two uh, b two uh, b two position has since zero to one. So the external operation is not zero. So request recent data again from client. In the server section. The result is once complement and the summation or 20 and B3 uh, client accept and then after completing the result, uh, client accept the result, receive the result and it's once complement. Then of that here, B3 position 0 to 10 is 1. That means external version is but 0. So the request to server, re-execute the result and save to the client again. This is the experimental setup of client machine and server machine. The processor of client machine is Intel Core, Core i5 and server machine is Core i7. The processing core of client machine is Core and server machine is Core. The processing capacity of client machine is 1000 million instruction per second and server machine is 3000 million instruction per second. The memory of client machine is 4 gigabyte and server machine is 4 gigabyte. The storage of client machine is one terabyte and the server machine is one terabyte. The bandwidth of client machine and server machine are 1000 gigabyte. The integrated development tools of client machine and server machine are these are study 17. The application of client machine and server machine are C sharp dot five. This is the uh, time comparison of system CRC and effective techniques. We can observe the performance from the bar, bar graph. We have illustrated here, x-axis shows the target length, minimum instruction, and y-axis shows the execution time according to the size of data. Point base size, uh, 10 kilo, 10 kilo data, uh, CRC, our, our system reduces 1.26 seconds. And 4 kilo data, our system, our proposed EFTs technique reduces it 29.95. So always we have observed here, our proposed system is more, more better performance than CRC and Jackson. This is the, uh, the coverage of different types of error coverage. Data flow errors here. 
uh, total injected faults are 200 and total activation fault of section is 100 and CRC is 135 and proposed AFT 138. The operant types error of section is activated 9 and CRC is 5 and proposed EFT is 7. The operant error of section is 69 and CRC is 86 and EFT is 770. The operation error of section is 21 and CRC is 33 and proposed EFT 42. And operation types of section 3 and CRC 5 and EFT 7. The silent data corruption of section is 0 and CRC is 3 and proposed EFT is 1. The other signal section is 1 and CRC 3 and proposed EFT 11. The coverage of section is 96.18 and CRC is 97.78% and proposed EFT is 99.98%. The summation of all operant types, operant zero, operation zero, operant type zero, silent data corruption, other zero, summation of equal to fault activation detected equal. That means all our summation equal to 100, uh, 103. And all our summation uh, activated faults are equal to uh, 135 activated faults detected. And our proposed system, all our summation parameters faults activated, then our pro effective fault tolerance detects the error 138 are equal. We have observed here our proposed system is more better performance than others. Take some and CSE. The comparison of effective fault is with existing technique. The parameters of this sec, uh, the bits error of section is single bit, multiple bits. Uh, CRC is here single bit, multiple bits, and bus bit error. I propose EFT is single bit, multiple bits, and any length of bit zero. The operation of section is binary adapt. And CRC is binary division and proposed EFT is external operation. Hardware of system is parallel order and CRC is sequester and EFT is not yet. The technique of system, the system technique is reactive fault lines and CRC reactive fault lines and proposed EFT is proactive fault lines to detect any errors. Undetectable error of system is less. And CRC is probability of undetectable 1 minus 2 divided minus R. The coverage of EFT is 99.98% coverage. Uh, so undetectable error is 0.02%. Uh, the bus net of error detection of system is un unable. And CRC unable to detect maximum degree of device greater than R. R equal to 16, so 64. And if you able to detect any length of bust errors, the detection of your know, detection of section is more than two step. The CRC have multiple step to detect after multiple step. The proposed EFT uh, you know detects after only two steps. The conclusion and fifth are one. The proposed EFT has the high reliability. It detects and corrects single bit, multiple bits, and any length of bust bit errors. The coverage of proposed EFT scheme is 99.98%. The coverage of CRC is 97.78%. And the coverage of section is 97, 96.18%. The EFT has the highest coverage. The proposed EFT is 1.70 times faster than checksum technique and 3.06 times faster than CRC technique. In FIFSA, we can apply the different level fault tolerance scheme which can detect more errors and correct them without recent resetting or re-execution. This is the reference paper here. The most important paper are uh, uh, most important paper are added here. I have selected only 11 paper uh, among the 19 papers. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Assalamualaikum.